Hey, just wanted to give you some update six tips. First thing is on the blacksmith table, there's this thing for the called the barrel support stand. Highly recommend that. There's two versions of it. I like the big one because it allows you to stack five barrels in the space of three. I'll show you that here in a second. So right here, this is the result of the large barrel support stand. I can put three barrels on the bottom, two on top, and this is just using the standard aging barrel. So once I build four more of these barrels and one more stand, I can have another setup like this. Obviously, the game is now focused on drinks. There are a lot of drink options. When you interact with these aging barrels, you get the full list of all of the things that are being aged. Highly recommend that you get your aging barrels set up quick. Um, you need them and it's a huge bottleneck. Also, standardize your recipes as much as you can. They've recently increased the stack of what can go in one of these aging barrels, so it's a little better now. Um, but before, when I were when I was adding these to the aging barrels, the stacks were um, less than my crafting bonus. So that's why I ended up with all these extra threes of this, fours of that, and that's because I wasn't really focused on having a standardized recipe and then focusing on orders whenever they came in. Uh, I just sort of put in what I felt like it or what I had a lot of or this or that. So I ended up with a lot of threes of drinks. Then speaking of drinks, previously when you made the drinks, you had to have them in the individual kegs. Now there's this keg serving system. And here you have the taps. It's kind of hidden behind some of my decorations, but the taps are still here. And then they've added this keg serving system. When you start, the bar has one serving keg built in. You have to build the rest. You can build up to three more. And you can put drinks in these kegs, but you can't put all the drinks in the kegs. Wait, you can put all the drinks in the kegs, but you can only put certain drinks in the taps. The game says that it's carbonated items can go in the taps. So if I look at this, I got this cider, 26 cider young, and it's going to let me put that in the tap because it's giving me the option to see it here. But here, I've got a whole bunch of other drinks in my inventory that it's not letting me put in the tap. Those go in the kegs exclusively. So anytime you have the opportunity to put something in a tap, you should do that first, just to make sure that things that can go in the tap go in the tap. And then you put these individual items in the kegs. Also, tea is something that you can cook if you have a lot of tea and some ingredients and tea can go in these kegs as well. So it's better than serving water, which is the default thing. Um, you can just take that out and put the drink of your choice in there. But if you don't have a drink, it will default to uh, making or serving water. And then last thing is that when you get to your distillery level, you basically need one ferment that'll one fermentation barrel for each distillery that you want to run. So right now I'm basically saying that I don't have enough fermentation barrels because I've got three distilleries and I can't keep them all busy. So just be sure to have more of that. And you also know, you know that you need to use your fermentation barrels for things that you're not going to put through the distillery, right? So for every distillery that you want to run, highly recommend that you just get a separate fermentation barrel. In addition to the fermentation barrel that you would use for all the other drinks that you have in your house. And that's about it. Uh, those are the biggest changes. Oh wait, there is one more thing. Hiring people before, in order to save a few bucks, you had to fire people each day. Now you have a hiring system and the employees have skills. This is a pretty cool system. As they work for you, they get more profession points. They each have a negative trait, but they also have positive traits. The more positive traits they have, or the more they've trained them, the more their hourly rage. But if you only want them to do certain things, then you can adjust their wage by having them not do certain things, right? So if this bartender, if I only, if I don't want her to do service at the bar, which would be insane, I would just uncheck that 
and her wage goes down to three dollars or three silver per hour as opposed to 11 silver per hour and you know same thing as before they've added so before i think they just had the waiter and the housekeeper they've added the bartender which is very strong she can really serve a lot of drinks for you and the waiter also strong they can deliver food and drinks to tables people can now order drinks from the table and bouncer they help with your your customers that are complaining and housekeeper um they help tend to the rooms and then speaking of the housekeeper there is this new desk i only have one room but this is how you can sort of take an overview of your your rooms and you can see what you're gonna charge what the comfort level is whether or not it's valid i think it's claiming that it's invalid because either the guy is in there or yeah our candle went out it will take care of itself but since we're here we'll just drop this candle in And now it's available. So there you go. Just a few tips regarding update six on Traveler's Rest. I know I struggled with the keg thing and I'm still in the middle of my playthrough. And that was a big thing for me. I was trying to figure out, well, where do, where do the kegs go? What, what happened to the kegs? No more individual kegs. Serving kegs or hook the drinks directly up to the tap. Thanks for hanging out. If you're more, if you're interested in more playthrough regarding Traveler's Rest, I'm in the midst of an update six, update six playthrough right now. I don't know why I said update six twice there. And, uh, it's, uh, we're in the late game, but obviously it's on a playlist and you can follow the playlist here.